Welcome to Battle of the Bonds, the ultimate hands-on test of dental adhesive bond strength. Since you rely on dental adhesives as an important part of your clinical work every day, you naturally want to know how your adhesive compares to others out there. To answer that question, dentists from the United States, Europe, and Brazil agreed to test their current adhesives in the Battle of the Bonds. In 33 hands-on events, 658 dentists collectively put the pressure on their adhesives to compete against the universal contender, Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive. Altogether, 13 leading dental adhesives were put to the test. Get ready to see which of the top-rated contenders fell short, which ones went the distance, and which one was consistently at the top of the rankings. But first, here's a brief look at the test that was used. Dentists were given two lab-prepared test specimens of bovine teeth embedded in an acrylic cylinder and ground flat to expose the dentin, one for testing their current adhesive and one to test Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive. To create the test samples, dentists first applied the adhesives to the exposed dentin surface following the manufacturer's instructions for use. With Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive, the dentin surface may or may not have been etched with phosphoric acid, depending on the dentist's preference. Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive was then applied with a brush using a scrubbing motion for 20 seconds to assure uniform distribution across the surface and penetration down into the dentin. It was gently air dried for 5 seconds to evaporate the solvents and produce a uniform film. Then it was light cured for 10 seconds. Next, a mold was centrally placed on the cured adhesive and fixed into place with a clamp. A hole in the mold was filled and packed down to create good contact with the adhesive and tooth surface. Any excess material was removed. The composite was then light cured. When the clamp and the mold were removed, the dentist had a test sample, a cured composite cylinder that was bonded directly onto the surface of the dentin. Each sample was placed in a clamp and loaded into the portable shear bond strength testing unit. The wheel was slowly turned, bringing the shearing mechanism into contact with the composite. Once the start test button was pressed, the shearing force against the composite was gradually increased until the composite debonded. The force required to break or debond the samples was recorded in newtons on the electronic gauge. In this example, 83.7 Newton was the force needed to debond the composite using Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive. The final step was to convert the Newton measurement into megapascals, or MPA, which is the measurement of shear bond strength. To do that, the force, or Newtons, was divided by the surface area of the composite cylinder, or mm squared. The resulting number equals the value in megapascals, or MPA. In the Battle of the Bonds, 658 dentists put their adhesive up against Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive, round after round. And when the final bell was rung, Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive was proven to be as strong or stronger than the other 12 leading dental adhesives tested. Whether it was used in the self-etch mode or the etched mode to dentin, it's the truly versatile adhesive that can be used with any technique used for virtually any indication and on any surface, allowing dentists to simplify the dental bonding procedure without compromise. For more information on Scotch Bond Universal Adhesive, visit 3msb.com.